For all of your sports in Lorraine, keep your TV tuned to TV20, Lorraine City Schools Television. Welcome to Longfellow Middle School, where we have Johnny Wilson, who's traveled over to Longfellow to face uh, Longfellow in seventh and eighth grade combined volleyball action. The first serve was put up by Jaslyn Harris. It's an ace, and Jaslyn will step back to serve again. Joining Jaslyn on the court uh, in the right front position is Dominique Morales. Our middle front is Jocelyn Robinson, number eight. Number one is Tariana Ammons. Number 10 is Karina Lopez. And number two for Longfellow is Yasmir Greenhill rounding out the lineup. For Johnny Wilson, the captain, number eight, Julia Lurie. She'll serve first. Uh, number 23 is Janae Harrison. 29 is Jersey Fisk. Number one is Imani Cheers. Seven, Amaya Scott. And rounding up the general Johnny Wilson lineup is number three, Makaya Owens. The score is two to one. Johnny Wilson leading. Serving for Johnny Wilson is Janae Harrison. How exciting to have two teams from Lorraine facing off against each other this afternoon. Both come in with comparable records. And that's a beautiful mi middle hit from Jersey Fist of Johnny Wilson. And count that as a kill. And Johnny Wilson will serve again. This is three serving one. Five man receive for, for Longfellow. Jaslyn Harris in the setter position. Ball right to the target. That's a beautiful pass from Tariana Ammons to Jaslyn. And Jaslyn will attack the ball. But good defensive play from Julia Lurie for the uh, Eagles. Free ball sent from Longfellow over to the Johnny Wilson side. And the overpass will score. So for you, those of you joining us that are new to the game of volleyball, the, the goal is to get the ball passed to the target area, is to the right of the center circle you see right in the middle of the court. That's where the center will be going so that she can set up one of the hitters on the court. General Don Johnny, so far doing very well. Yes. Served five, five straight points here. This is five serving one. Janae again will serve. Nice strong serve for, for from Janae. That one out of play though, just a little shy. In middle school we play th best of three, play 225, correct? That voice you hear is my partner Joe Bach behind the camera. Longfellow will serve and serving for Longfellow is Dominique Morales, the captain. Beautiful pass from Johnny Wilson to the setter, right to the setter circle. Nice attack from Imani Cheers. And this is turning out to be some good middle school volleyball action. Often you see the ball dies after one hit or one swing. And we've got some volley action going already. So Longfellow will step back to serve. Amaya Scott will serve now. This is three serving five. Good serve from Amaya. Ball gets set to the outside, to the strong side, and a beautiful swing from Makaya Owens. Entering the game for the first time for, for Johnny Wilson is number 25, Alexandria Church. And this is Jersey Fix serving. And it looks like that's going to be an ace serve for Jersey and another point. For nice, the Eagles. Nice low line drive. Very yes. nice. It's really awesome to see all these girls serving overhand. Yes. Yeah, because they'll be up in the high school here in a, a year or so. Everything begins with a good serve on offense and a good pass on defense. Another ace. Johnny Wilson leads by five. Eight will serve three. Johnny Wilson's coach is Alicia Neely, and Longfellow's coach is Mary Mullins. And Longfellow can't get quite get that one over. That's a serve-receive error. The ball, the first touch on the ball as it's after it's served, that's considered serve-receive. The goal, like I said, is to get that ball to the target area. If that ball doesn't go there, that would be considered a serve-receive error. And that error was a serving error. That's going to bring number 10, Sincere Garcia, in off the bench and into the back row for the Eagles. Longfellow will serve. Four serving nine. This is Heaven Boggs. No, I'm sorry. This is Jocelyn Robinson serving. That's a 
Good dig from Longfellow's number 10, Karina Lopez. Wilson will get side out, and Imani Cheers will serve for the Eagles. And that one a little short. So that point will go to Longfellow. Four will serve 10 off the hands of Imani Cheers. And that ball also out of play. Johnny Wilson picks up another point. 11 will serve five. Amaya Scott serving. That ball makes it over, but it's a little too wide. Side out, Longfellow. And Karina Lopez will get a chance to serve. Six serving 11. Four man receive for Johnny Wilson. And serve a little short again. Even though we've had some back-to-back -back mix, miss, mixed missed serves here, excuse me, it's nice to see the girls attempting overhand serves. You gotta be able to serve overhand to play high school volleyball. And all the skill work is done here at the lower levels. And that's a beautiful serve from Alexandria Church for the Eagles. If you're just joining us, we're at Longfellow Middle School in Lorraine, where Longfellow is playing host to the Eagles of Johnny Wilson in 7th and 8th grade combined volleyball action. This is Lake Erie League play. This is for bragging rights in the city. And that ball is in. And that kill gets credited to Terriana Ammons. I think. I think he called it out. I think was that out? It looked into it me. Looked, yeah, it did look him. But he's the boss. Yeah. Side out, Johnny Wilson. Fourteen serving six. You could show him replay. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> and a little serve receive trouble for Longfellow right now. Fifteen serving six. We're we're talking about bragging rights, Joe. We have a third middle school in Lorraine. We've been away from middle schools for a couple years. That's right. Now that we have opened the big, beautiful new high school, our middle school reopened again. Southview Middle School did for middle school students. It had been housing our freshmen from the high school the last couple years. So we have three middle school teams now that are part of the Lake Erie League. This is good three hit volleyball right here. And the point, point's going to go to Johnny Wilson. 16 will serve six. Alexandria's going to serve, but not until after the timeout, as Coach Neely calls a timeout. Joe, I don't know if you can get your camera over to the right over there, but I see Lorraine High's freshman volleyball team in attendance today. Oh, I see Coach Benlack over there. Oh, yeah, sure. Yep, those well, are awesome freshmen. Some of them played cool. here wow. last year. Yeah. There's Coach Benlack giving us a wave. <laughs> sure is nice to see the high school girls supporting the middle school girls. Oh, absolutely. Oh, that's so great. So Coach must have gave them a day off today so they could come on over. Yeah, it's nice to support uh, yeah, future teammates. That's right. We're back on the court after the timeout. Johnny Wilson will serve, 16 serving six. Alexandria Church with the serve, and it's a little deep, and so side out Longfellow. That'll give Longfellow a much needed point. Seven will serve 16, but not until we get a substitution. In for the Eagles is Micaiah Owens, number three. Number two for Longfellow serving, this is Yasmir Greenhill. Ball's high and over. Nice receive there from Jersey Fisk. And a nice middle attack for the kill from Janae Harrison. I'll tell you what, these are some big girls we have out here. Yeah, they are. And I, at the high school level, we have been missing height for the last three years. So it's beautiful to see height coming up eventually to the high school level. Little tip action from Terriana Ammons, and she'll score the kill. Nice to stay out of the net, too. <laughs> 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 
Jazlyn Harris will serve for the Longhorns. Beautiful serve from Jazlyn deep to the back row. And Johnny Wilson's turn to struggle with serve receive. The ace for Harris. Jazlyn has a sister that plays at the high school, freshman Talia Harris. She's on the JV squad this year. Nine serving 17, that one's just a little shorter. It'll hit the net and bounce back. That gives Johnny Wilson a point. Janae Harrison back to serve for the Eagles. And ace serve from Janae. That was a beautiful serve right to the 10 foot line. Now Coach Neely's done a fine job with these gals. She does, Coach Neely was a great player herself. How do I know that? Because I coached her in middle school. <laughs> <laughs> she was a great setter. So Johnny Wilson leading by 11, 20 serving nine. Harrison again. Nice serve from Harrison. Longfellow will get it back into play and a little short on the third touch point for the Eagles. It's all about serving and passing at this level. Yeah, you get the fundamentals down and, and for sure. refine the skills. For sure. Deep serve, that'll go off number 10, Karina Lopez, and count for an ace. Coach Mullins will adjust the back row and where they're set up. And another nice, hard, strong serve from Harrison. 23-9. Harrison very consistent back there. This will be, this server will be set point number one. We're playing the best of three as Joe said. And we're in the first set if you're just joining us. It's 24-9, the game is to 25 by two. And it looks like that serve will be out of play. So side out Longfellow. And they keep it alive. Longfellow trailing 10 to 24. Dominique Morales will serve. This is Nikki. Nice serve from Nikki. Overpass from the Eagles will score. It's 25-10, so the first set's gonna go to the Eagles. The teams are gonna switch benches. And we're gonna take a quick break. And we'll be back with set number two from Longfellow Middle School. Stop. Whether it's on the way to school, at school, or online. Bullying has become a non-stop threat to our youth today. Is your child being bullied? The National Runaway Switchboard can help. If you're having a hard time, get online or call to chat now. Can I go to the sleepover? Lucy, I want you to promise me something. If there's any drinking, I want you to say, no thanks, not my thing. Mom. I promise you, your real friends won't care. Deal? I promise, Mom. They really do hear you. Did you pack your toothbrush? For tips on how to start the talk, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. A public service message from the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration. The Warriors to Work program makes it possible for wounded warriors and their families to build new lives together. When my dad left, I was like this big, but I'm like this big. My dad got a master's degree and in human resources. Thanks to Warriors to Work that my dad has a terrific job. The Wounded Warrior Project helps him by, you know, giving him another start. Now that my dad's home, I get a lot more hugs. I'm really proud of him. Find out more about Wounded Warrior Project at findwwp.org. Welcome home, the brave. Welcome back. We're just starting the second set. This is Julia Lurie with the serve for Johnny Wilson. Ball received by Longfellow. And that one's in the ceiling and down after three touches. So the first point of the second set is gonna go to Johnny Wilson. Johnny Wilson leading tonight, one game to zero. Lurie again for the Eagles. 
Nice strong serve from Lurie to the back row, and that's going to be an ace serve for Lurie and another point for the team. 2-0, Johnny Wilson. When you watch these games, Joe, it looks so easy. The ball's going over the net, and it looks so easy to pass that ball to the target. But that is a difficult skill. Oh, yeah. The ball's coming hard and fast. And this is a beginning point for most of our girls here in Lorraine. This is where their volleyball experience begins. I tell you, uh, as we were talking off air, uh, very enjoyable watching your varsity girls. Uh, the passing, the uh, setting, just the skill level is it, much improved. And the dynamic hitting, right, Joe? Oh, They're absolutely. Just, all of the girls can hit the ball hard and strong. Yeah, hopefully the girls at the lower level watch some of those games. They come, uh, they come to a lot of the games. Yeah. Oh, great. We're hoping to make a little tourney run this year. We're in first place right now. Our varsity team is in the LEL. Big so game with Maple. About that. Big game with Maple Huge. Heights tomorrow night. And Lurie's going to get another ace serve as Johnny Wilson jumps out to a quick 4-0 lead. Lurie. That's Harris off the hands of Harris. Point Johnny Wilson. These skills of serving, passing, setting, that's what you're most concerned about at this level. The score of the game, not so important. The kids always want to win, but as coaches, we're looking to improve their skill and to use this middle school experience as a springboard for high school volleyball. So Jaslyn Harris will serve for Longfellow. This is one serving six. And that one a little too deep. Jaslyn just needs to follow through a little more on her serve and finish at the bottom by her hip. But a lot of talented girls out here, Joe. Janae Harrison with the serve for Johnny Wilson. And that one's outside the antenna, which is out of play. The ball has to be played in between those red and white antenna. Yeah, we have three school, middle schools now, so uh, hopefully we'll get some uh, more players out. For sure, we've had a, a rise in girls trying out at the varsity level um, in the, in the fr JV and freshman level the last couple years. I think with the anticipation in the new building, now that we're back to three middle schools in Lorraine versus two, our numbers were a little lower for fall tryouts, but I'm going to guess that winter sports trials, the numbers are going to be up. Right. Well, just a little newness because you have yes. a new building and, the, and some of the lines are redrawn now. And, um, and, and these are combined seventh and eighth grade teams that we have here. So our hope is next year that we have a separate seventh grade team and a separate eighth grade team, because that's traditionally what we have here in Lorraine. So Longfellow picks up another point. Three will serve nine. This is Dominique Morales. That ball wide and out of play. And new players on the court this set. Uh, for Longfellow, Devania Rico is number three. She's in here. She started Ooh. the second set. And wow, that was a killer serve right there. A at any level. <laughs> I mean, right? That's Jersey Fisk. Wow. wow. Line drive. And that's another great serve. That Very one not nice. quite as close to the net, but beautiful right to the back line. And Longfellow handled that serve quite well, actually. And three hit volleyball attempted. We had a swing attempt there from Church, and it's not going to quite go over, but the intent was there, which was good. Longfellow will pick up a point. Heaven Boggs will enter the game for the first time tonight, replacing Divine Rico, while Jocelyn Robinson will serve. Four serving 11. And serve received not successful for Johnny Wilson. That ball's going to go wide and out of play. Longfellow point. Five will serve 11. Hey. 
The overpass ball right to the target. That's beautiful. Jaslyn will tip the ball over nice. and score right in the bucket. Jaslyn has nice hands, especially for a girl of her height. Tall setters are special. And the ace serve for Longfellow is going to sneak them back into the game here. Seven will serve 11. That's Jocelyn Robinson back there serving for Longfellow. Side out, Johnny Wilson. Imani Cheers will serve for the Eagles. 12 serving seven. And wow, these girls are strong, Joe. Yeah, just a little bit out, but uh, nice right. form. Yes. It's not like most of these serves are hitting the net and coming back. There's been a couple, but they're mostly deep and out of play. That's a good sign. Look at that block kill from the middle. Wow. Wow. That's Alexandria Church using her height and talents to block and score. That's three statistical categories right there. That's a block, an attack, and a kill for the point. Johnny Wilson point, 13 serving eight. Nice serve received from the back line from Dominique Morales. It's a nice pass. Little short of the target, but good enough. It's up and in play. And sometimes on a tough serve, that's all you can ask for. Wilson will serve, eight serving, 14. Off the arms of Harris. The point goes to the Eagles, 15 serving eight. This is the best of three. At the high school level, for freshman and JV games, it's also the best of three. When you get to varsity, you play the best of five. Nice pass from Harris. The setter's gonna track that down and Harris will attack and the ball sent back from Longfellow. Mishandled by Longfellow. Or the ball was sent back from Johnny Wilson. Little pass difficulties from, from Longfellow, but nice volley going from both sides. Now, maybe you could explain if the, if the game and the varsity goes five. Why is the fifth game just the 15? You know, I don't know. It's We're in aligned with the F National Federation right. of Volleyball. Mm -hmm. So, you know, that's what you do at the college level. And that's just the way the rules just are. The way, huh. I thought there was some reason. Seventeen serving eight. Little dump tip there from Tariana Ammons. Nice dig, but we've got a net violation on behalf of the Eagles. Point Longfellow. Tell you who who's, uh, does a really nice dump tip is uh, Lauren Evans. Oh, our she, the setter on the varsity team. Oh my gosh, team. yeah. I Isn't mean, that uh, a special player it, right there? It is, <laughs> she is. I mean, that's a, uh, looks like she's gonna set it and doink, mm -hmm. finds the hole, it's perfect. Lauren be, is being recruited by many Division Three schools in the area. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, as is Regan Osco. Great. Baldwin Wallace came out for a visit last week to see us play. <laughs> Substitution for Johnny Wilson. That brings in Micaiah Owens, and Micaiah will serve. She replaces Alexandria Church. Ball a little short, but the overhand attempt was good. Of course, uh, I'm sure all your players are student athletes, students first. Of course. And two of them are on the court line judging right now. We got Yasmin Freya over here on the Longfellow side, and Tatiana Marrero is over here on the Johnny Wilson side, volunteering their time. That ball ruled in play. That was close. That was a close one. I'm not sure, sure I agree with that, but our line judges are the well, boss. He has a better angle. He, he's the boss. <laughs> 11 will serve 18. And that one is in as well. So Karina Lopez has two aces back to back. We're making a little bit of a comeback making here. Making a comeback. Longfellow inching their way in. 12 serving 18. Let's go. 
Volleyball's a fun sport, Joe. It looks easy, but it's not. Nice. That's a nice shot from Devanya Rico. Longfellow now trailing by five. 13 will serve eight. Karina Lopez serving. Five man receive for Johnny Wilson. Looks like Julia Lurie's in the setter spot. And little serve receive trouble for Johnny Wilson and that will prompt coach Alicia Neely to call a timeout for the Eagles as Longfellow moves in, closing the gap, trailing by just four here in the second set. Yeah, they've 14, rolled off five straight points here. Yes. Aces too. That's Karina Lopez serving. Joe, is this our first broadcast for middle school volleyball this season? It is. It is. Okay. Yep. And <clears throat> I'm assuming we're going to get to see Southview middle school play here soon. Hopefully. Maybe we'll get to see them against uh, Wilson or Longfellow to check out the schedule. Yeah, I always like to give the uh, middle school kids their props as well. And That's right. On TV20 and our... Well, what Great kid, YouTube what, channel. What kid doesn't like to see themselves? That's right. <laughs> Speaking of YouTube channels, you know you can just go in and search for a yeah, Lorraine City School event. Yeah, just go to YouTube and put in the keyword Lorraine TV. And all of our broadcasts will come up and you can watch them. It's in HD too mm -hmm. on YouTube. So That's big time. So Lopez gets another A serve and the margin now just three points as Longfellow trails, 15 serving 18. Defense needed from the Eagles right now if they want to close this out in two. That's serve out of play, but that's okay. Karina Lopez rattles off six straight points for Longfellow. Yeah, they're right, right back in this they, four point uh, difference. They are, this is Julia Lurie again, so the team's rotated completely around once. That ball is in. The ace from Lurie. And Julia Lurie has a sister that plays at the high school as well. Hannah Lurie on the freshman team. She is a great back row player, a defensive specialist. And Lurie's gonna serve that one a little bit wide. Side out will go to Longfellow. Well, if Longfellow's gonna make a comeback, now's their time. Now's the time. 16 serving 20. Jaslyn Harris, the ball, beautiful serve from Jaslyn and the ace. Lots of aces here. Three points, 17 serving 20. This is the least that Longfellow has trailed since the opening plays of the game. Another nice serve from Jaslyn off the wow. edge of the back row for Johnny Wilson. And Jaslyn's going to move her team into just two points of the Eagles. Longfellow hoping to push a third set. Nice back row ball. Another ace for Harris. And we got us a game, Joe. Wow. One more point, this thing's tied. One more point, 19 serving 20. As coaches, we say first team to 20. That's always the goal to be the first team to get to 20, because it seems to be easy to rattle off that next five, but Longfell doing a great job getting to 20 here, at least close. Oh, in the net. Yes, looks like Lurie's in the net, and that's gonna do it. Longfellow ah. will get to 20, and we've got a 20 all score. Harris again for Longfellow. Isn't it cool how both teams wear Lorraine uniforms and they're the same color? Southview Middle does the same thing. And it looks like Longfellow's gonna take their first lead of the night here in the second out. set. And a timeout time called out. by Neely. Wow. 21-20, Longfellow jumping ahead. Cheryl, if memory serves me right, I think General Johnny was up 18 to nine. I think you're right. Wow. Nine point deficit, that's a good fight back. That's toughness right there.
Coach Neely telling them to keep their composure and uh, close this thing out. They actually trail by one. That's right, and I'm sure Coach Mullins is telling her girls, get the serve over and be ready for it to come right back over the net. Both yeah, teams the Longfellow the uh, ladies look, uh, for the first time, they look really excited little, into A little now. bit of energy oh, over there, absolutely. yeah. absolutely. For sure. This is Jaslyn Harris again. Harris, that's great mental toughness right there to come in from a timeout and get the serve in play. And that was a beautiful middle hit from Tariana Ammons. Longfellow leading by two. Harris again for Longfellow. Ball short this time on the serve. It was good though and in play. The overpass, Harris is gonna get it up. Nice attack on the weak side from Dominique Morales and set back from Wilson out of play. Wilson struggling a little bit right now as Longfellow jumps out to a three point lead. 23 serving 20. We're in set number two playing the best of three. First set went to the Eagles of Johnny Wilson. And this is Harris for Longfellow doing a tremendous job serving. Ball is short. Dig attempt no good. That'll give the Eagles a point and the opportunity to, to serve while down by two. Big sigh 21. of relief there by Coach Neely there. <laughs> I'm Finally sure. got a point. <laughs> a deep sigh probably. Oh. Harrison for the Eagles gets the ball in and over play. little tip there from Harris. That's going to score. But uh, General Johnny in the net. Yep. S side out Longfellow. Can't touch that net. That's a net violation. The ball can't touch the antenna either, Joe. Right. Ball has to be in play. The lines are in on the court. If a ball lands on the um, perimeter lines, it is considered in play. This is set point number one for Longfellow. And that serve's gonna be short. And then this serve gives the other team a point. So Johnny Wilson adds a point on, and it's 22 serving 24. Now the serve is everything here. Critical. This is critical. <laughs> you gotta get the serve to stay alive here. And that ball deep and out of play. So the miss serve gives Longfellow a point and the opportunity to push three sets. Well, so, Cheryl, I thought this was going to be a quick evening, but uh, Longfellow comes storming back, and uh, we're going to go to three sets. We're going to go to three sets, so it looks like our official is going to come down on the court, call each of the captains over. While they do that, we're going to take a quick break for the exciting uh, conclusion to this match. All right, we'll be back in a few minutes. Hi, my name is George Click. I'm 16 years old and in 10th grade at Lorraine High School. I'm studying video production through Lorraine High's Career Tech Education Program. My first class was video production itself, and my second class was web design. I have a big imagination. Video production is a great release for it. The program is fun, interactive, and hands-on. You learn about the cameras and their functions in a comfortable environment. You spend a lot of time editing video using Adobe Photoshop and Premiere. My video production instructor, Mr. Trout, helped me a lot. He helps you with anything you need help with. He's good at explaining how things work. Taking this video production class is what really made me want to go into this field. This program at Lorraine High helped give me confidence. I now know that this is what I want to do, and it's all thanks to Lorraine High's video production career tech program. Is magic really magic? If a deal is too good to be true, well, don't be fooled. There is no magic. Credit Max Auto has a great selection of cars with fast, easy financing and payments you can afford. Check us out at creditmaxauto.com. Which of the angles on the board are the one from the quiz on Friday? Jaden? Research shows more and more 12 to 15 year olds have arteries similar to that of a 45 year old. But it doesn't have to be that way. Don't let your children grow up too fast. Encourage them to act their age through regular exercise and healthy eating. And we're back at Longfellow Middle School. We're starting set number three of seventh and eighth grade Lake Erie League Volleyball. That was Julia Lurie of Johnny Wilson serving. The first point will go to Johnny Wilson. First set went to Johnny Wilson. The second set went to Longfellow, so we're forced to a set three. This game's to 25 points by two. 
what a nice job Longfellow did storming back, as you said, Joe, in the last set. Yeah, they were down, what did I say, uh, 18 to 9, nine I, think. I think so. Yeah. I think so. Lurie's going to jump Lorraine out to a quick 2.2 to 0 lead here with some nice serving. Another nice serve from Lurie. Free ball sent. She's got a nice serve. She does have a nice from serve. The, for a middle school gal, my goodness. I have to give props to both Coach Neely and Coach Mullins in teaching the game. We've got offenses and defenses on both sides. Overhand serves predominantly for the girls and a real focus on skill work. I mean, that is everything a high school coach looks for in a middle school coach. Right. And you got even talent here too, which is nice. So Johnny Wilson will serve now. This is Harrison, three serving one. Serve is short. Point will go to Longfellow, and they'll rotate and send Dominique Morales back to the end line to serve. Ball's over and in play. Overpass from Wilson. And three attempts, a nice swing from the lefty, Devonia Rico. And wow, look at that, Joe. That, Jeez. that <laughs> was dynamic. <laughs> that's Janae Harrison. No, I'm sorry, that's not Janae Harrison, that's Jersey Fisk. Janae Alexandria and Jersey for Johnny Wilson. Those are some tall, strong girls. There's, there's three middle hitters at least on that team right there. That's the future of Lorraine. And I look over at the other side of the net, and we've got Jazlyn Harris, who's basically the same size, just a little shy height-wise, but strong and talented as well. And Terriana Ammons is, isn't a, a short girl either. <laughs> so it's nice to see all that height. I think the ball was outside the antenna. Coach Neely's telling the up official it was out of play. So Johnny Wilson will get a point. And back to the end line goes Imani Cheers. Nice serve from Imani off the arms of Longfellow. And down. Nice line drive net skimmer there, just right above the net. Yes. Johnny Wilson leads 6-3. And that ball's deep. Here goes Tariana, serving for Longfellow. And Tariana's a lefty as well. Couple lefties there for Longfellow. Side out Johnny Wilson. Seven will serve for Amaya Scott. And Amaya's going to get that over and in, a nice strong serve. And that swing was off the hands of Karina Lopez and down. Joe, we've been doing volleyball the last few years in Lorraine at the middle school level. As far back as I can remember, this is, I would say we're swinging much better than we have in the past. Oh, I would at definitely this level. agree with you, yep. I mean, we're blocking in the middle, we're swinging and we're scoring. And we have a net violation from Johnny Wilson's Julia Lurie. Sometimes you can't, you're trying to get the ball in the net and you can't help it. You gotta touch yeah. the net if it's if the pass is so tight. You just hope they don't see you. Devonia Rico with the serve. Lurie does a nice job bringing that ball up closer, that second touch there, closer to the net so her hitters have an opportunity to score. Ball was out of play though, so that's gonna tie things up seven all. Yeah, we got us a piece, game. Seven seven <laughs> in the third set. You can't ask for right there's much another more. tight one, but nice play. Wow. Uh, Terriano Ammons is gonna win that one, but Lurie goes up on the tight pass, attempting to dump, and as athletic and as well as she could, she tries to get that ball out, but Ammons there with a nice block kill. 
and Devonia Rico is going to pick up an ace on that serve as Longfellow jumps out to the two-point lead, nine serving seven. Ball's right to the target that time. Lurie's going to set that one to the back row for a back row attack, and Amaya Scott will score. So if you notice, when the setter goes up to the setter circle, traditionally she is perpendicular to the net, and she's facing the strong side, which is left front. So the setter wants to set the ball to one of her hitters on the net. So she's not really setting a person, she's setting a position. Um, you could tell that Lurie was facing the back line or the back row, and so she set that ball to the middle back position so that the ball could be attacked from there. This is good quality volleyball. And Longfellow struggling with serve receive right now. That's going to even things up. No, it's not. It's going to push Johnny Wilson up by one by air. Ten is serving nine. Janae Harrison. That one's too deep as well. And that's going to even things out. Ten all. Got a substitution. In comes Micaiah Owens to the back line for the Eagles while Karina Lopez will serve for Longfellow. It's 10 all, best of three. We're in the third set, the game's to 25. That missed serve gives Johnny Wilson a point and an opportunity to rotate and serve. And back to the end line goes Lurie, who's been doing a great job serving today. I, I haven't kept count of her ace total, but it's up there. Nice serve by Lurie, that one's over and Imani Cheers attempts to send the overpass back, but it's out of play. So side out Longfellow and Jaslyn Harris will serve for the Longhorns. 11 all. 11 all. Third set. Nice serve from Harris. That one goes to the empty spot in the back corner. And Longfellow up 12 11. Harris again. Micaiah Owens sends it over. That one off the arms of Longfellow's Tariana Ammons. And out of play. 12-12. I wonder how many ties we've had so far. Oh my gosh. Do you know? Harrison nice. with the ace. I think if any team gets on a little bit of run here, that, that might do it. It's been nip and tuck the whole way in this third uh, set. With Johnny Wilson leading by one, 13 serving 12. This is Harrison again. Overpass, swing from Fisk handled, but second touch will go out of play. That puts Wilson up by two. Nice awareness at the net from Jersey Fisk. There goes Jersey again. And I think the referee <laughs> made a little mistake there. Our official original, originally singled, signaled si side out Longfellow, but it is a Johnny Wilson ball. Well, here's the biggest separation we've had in a, in a while, 15-12. Three-point lead for Johnny Wilson. The girls fighting for bragging rights right now. Nobody wants to lose to the team across the, on the other side of the city. And that was nice. It's a four-point lead for Wilson right now. If General Johnny gets another point, uh, Longfellow's going to call time. Probably. Church with the serve. Ball's up and in play. Harris will send the third touch over. That's Church right to the target to Lurie. Back row attack from Church, and that's going to score. Nice volley. Five point lead for the Eagles. 12 serving 17 from Church. Nice pass right up to Whoa. Harris, but there's those big, beautiful hands of Jersey <laughs> Fisk with great net awareness and ball awareness to go up and block that. 
That moves Wilson up by six. 18 to 12. What do you think, Joe? I say Longfellow's gonna fight back here. That's yeah, they, they have did. the whole match. Mm -hmm. Coach Mary Mullins talking to the Eagles, or to the Longhorns, while Coach Alicia Neely conversing with the Eagles of Wilson. Decent crowd here today. There is. Lots of parent support, and of course those volleyball players from the freshman team at Lorraine High School. The teams will come back on the court. Janae Harrison will serve for Johnny Wilson. That ball's over and in. That's great mental toughness from Harrison to come out of a timeout and get a serve in play. And the swing off the hands of Karina Lopez of Longfellow scores. Timeout work for the... Must have. Lo Longfellow will rotate back. I'm going to call them the Longhorns, but they're not anymore. I, are they? Are no, they the no, Longhorns or no, are they the Eagles? But a long, long fellow Longhorns, General Johnny Wilson, the Eagles. But I think they're all Titans now. Are, are we all Titans? <laughs> I believe so. Everyone in Lorraine is a Titan? I don't know. Dominique Morales again. 14 serving 18. Lurie's gonna bring that to the middle and that swing comes from Imani Cheers, but not, not until we get a beautiful dig from Janae Harrison. Point will go to Longfellow on that volley. Dominique Morales is gonna, going to serve again. 15 serving 18. And I think I was right. Longfellow not going down without a battle. They're fighting to get back in this. And that one caught not quite enough. Side out Wilson. And Jersey Fisk will take her turn at serving, but not before Alexandria Church re-enters the game, replacing Micaiah Owens. And that one's deep. That point will go to Longfellow. Three-point game. 16 serving 19. Jocelyn Robinson in service action. Ball's high, right to the middle front position. Harris will set the, or Lurie will set the outside. That swing from the strong side, that was Karina Lopez. Nice pass from Ammons, ball's up. Ammons will swing, nice dig over here for Johnny Wilson's Janae Harrison. There's a nice dig from Devon, Devon Rico, and the attack is blocked. Wow, Alexandria Church. Longfellow not really having an answer for those two middles from Johnny Wilson in Harrison and Church. Great net play. Great net play. Nice serve from Imani Cheers. And there, we there go goes again. that middle again. <laughs> That's Alexandria Church with the block kill. Longfellow cannot afford to overpass here. Cheers again will serve. That one is wide and out of play. Ammons will get service duties for Longfellow as they trail by four. Four man received for Wilson. Lurie in the setter spot. And nice receive from L uh, Wilson's cheers, even though it was an overpass. And that ball will drop into the back corner of the Wilson side and give Longfellow a point. You no, know, Cheryl wouldn't want it any other way. 21 18, third, third set. Right? <laughs> Johnny Wilson leading. This is Johnny Wilson receiving. And a little trouble with serve received there will give Longfellow a point. Ammons will come back to serve after the timeout. 21-19, 
Wilson leads by two in the third set. Do you have a prediction, Joe? Oh, it's going to be do. close. I do. I have a prediction. Okay. I say a Lorraine team is going to win tonight. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> the Titans will be victorious. I mean, if you're a Lorraine volleyball fan, you, you can only win here. <laughs> Good one. Wilson back out on the court early. Coach Mullins still talking things over in the huddle with her Longfellow girls. Five seconds remaining in the timeout. Got a little whistle warning from the official buzz of the clock. They're using every second. Here come the Longfellow Titans. Is that what we're going to call them? <laughs> sure. <laughs> we're all Titans. We're all Titans. Ammons for Longfellow. That ball short. What? Key time out by Longfellow broke the yes. uh, momentum there. Wilson will serve. 22 serving 19. And that one's short as well. Tit for tat. Point wow. for point. Both teams in the 20s. Javanya Rico will serve for Longfellow. And the ball's up and over, rather short to the Johnny Wilson side. Back to Longfellow, a little tip action. Ball to Lurie, Lurie's gonna go to the middle, right to Church, she'll swing. Nice dig from Robinson of Longfellow. Comes Church with the overpass. And look at that from Longfellow. Boy, they're fighting wow. to stay alive here. And there's a nice outside swing that will score. Janae Harrison picks up a kill and a point for her teammates. It's a huge point. Wilson leading by three. Yes, that's a big point. Huge. <laughs> Out of the game goes Sincere Garcia. And back in comes Janae Harrison. Nope, Janae Harrison's strong side. Looks like Alexandria Church will be in the, no, I'm sorry, Jersey Fisk will be in the middle front position for Johnny Wilson. Longfellow grabs a point. Two point lead for the Eagles. Not before we sub out Lopez. And I think, yes, this is Yasmir Greenhill that's subbing in. She'll go back to the end line to serve. 21 serving 22. Nice serve from Greenhill. Harrison, Lurie's going to send that over. Ball over. Nice dig. Lurie's going to get that up out of the net. Not quite. She's over that center line. <laughs> you know, Joe, that center line under the net, you can step on it, you can step over it, but you cannot completely step over it. That's the rule. Nice receive from Harrison. Lurie over to the outside. Fisk, balls up over to the right side. That swing is from Jaslyn Harris, and Jaslyn gets a kill, and her team gets a point, and it's 23 all here at Longfellow Middle School. Oh. While the teams go over for a timeout, we're gonna take a quick break, and we'll be back to finish this game in a few minutes. Ohio State is saving lives every day. This is Ohio State. We're the economic engine of the state. A major employer. Over 60,000 students. We're on the forefront of cancer research. An educational core of Ohio. Impacting tens of thousands daily. Our alumni organization is nearly half a million worldwide. This is Ohio State. This is Ohio State. Ohio State. Ohio State. This is the Ohio State University. We're back at Longfellow. It's 23 all. Yasmir Greenhill serves short. That gives Johnny Wilson a point. And it's set point number one, which is match point number one for the night. Looks like, looks like Johnny Wilson right now has got to get this serve over. This is Lurie with the serve. She gets it over, handled well by Longfellow. And Longfellow will score on the free ball. And it's 24 all. <laughs> Deuce, oh. Joe. We're at deuce right now. <laughs> oh, my. Jaslyn Harris for Longfellow. The game has to be won by 22, so this is not set point number two. 
Harris is, gets the ball over and in. Ball's right to the target. Lurie up. We've got a swing from the middle on the Eagles side. Little net action going on, and it looks like Wilson's going to win that spar at the net there. <laughs> they, they thought they had won. <laughs> they thought they won, but the game is by two. Right. Not unusual in middle school. So How it's exciting. 25 serving 24. Set point, match point number two. The battle Jan of Lorraine. Janair Harrison has service to oh. season. That's not going <laughs> to quite make it over. And it's 25 all. We're back to deuce again. Side out Longfellow. Longfellow rotates Dominique Morales back to the end line. She will serve. Good serve from Dominique. Ball's up, handled well by Wilson. Ball up to the net from Lurie, and that third touch is not quite going to get over. And oh Longfellow up 26 5. This is Longfellow's set point number one. This is the third overall set point and match point for Watch the team. Place erupt. If <laughs> yep, set point number one, game point number one. Here's Dominique Morales. And there's some toughness. Ball's over. Overpass is in play. Nice receive from Longfellow back to the back line. And that one's not going to be handled well by Wilson. And it looks like Longfellow's going to take this one. 27-25. Who'd have thunk it? Wow. We've got a Lorraine winner tonight, Joe. Longfellow versus Johnny Wilson goes three sets. Set number three is 27-25. Longfellow comes out on top. How exciting to see this middle play from both sides. These middle hitters and blockers, overhand serving, great skill work. Big props go out to Coach, Coach Mullins and Coach Neely <laughs> of Longfellow and Wilson. Well, we couldn't ask for anything more for our TV20 broadcast for We tonight. couldn't, and as a high school volleyball coach, I'm pleased. Oh, uh, yeah. We thank all of you for joining us, and we'll see you again soon. On behalf of myself, Cheryl Bansick, and Joe Bach, producer, cameraman, and director of Lorraine City Schools TV20, have a great night. This has been a production of Lorraine City Schools TV20 WLCS.